Now more than ever, transportation business owners need industry experts at every stage in their company's life cycle. We bring them to you in the hot seat. Welcome to In the Hot Seat with the Tenney Group. I'm Spencer Tenney. It's good to be with you. Got a special edition of the Hot Seat today with our very own Davis Looney. Davis, welcome to the Hot Seat. Glad to be here. Thank you, sir. All right, you ready? I'm, I'm ready. Let's do this. All right. It's hot. It is very hot. So, um, you're out there in the trenches having the conversations every day, buyers and sellers, people that want to build value. Right. Um, recently, you told me on the same day, you had conversations with two billion dollar companies, two separate billion dollar companies that were aggressively acquiring. Mm -hmm. What are they acquiring and why? I would say that a uh, majority of buyers I'm talking to are just looking for healthy companies. Um, and that's something that sellers a lot of times have questions about too. They say, you know, post COVID, I bet people are just looking to, to scrape up deals and just um, take distressed companies. But honestly, what we're hearing is that uh, buyers are looking for strong companies right now, um, just because they know they, the companies that have come through COVID strong, uh, there's a compelling story there. And uh, they know if they can get those companies onboarded right now, that can be a, a powerful time for them to really benefit from that integration in this next you know, 12 to 18 months. And so uh, buyers have just been looking for companies that have strong culture, uh, that, are, that are seeing growth, and uh, that have, have leaders that are just looking to, to transition out of their business for whatever reason. Interesting. So what about size and shape? What do you see as terms of the profiles of the companies that they're targeting? Uh, again, it's it's been a little different. Uh, traditionally, you would you'd think a lot of those bigger companies would be wanting just the, a large scale acquisition. But uh, again, we, we've seen a lot of companies looking from anything from you know, 10, 20 million dollar companies up to you know 100 million dollar plus companies. Uh, did I say 10 to 20 million? Um, I think I said 100. I'm sorry, but um, yeah, they're, they're looking for anything from 10 to 20 million dollar companies all the way up to you know. Hundred plus million dollar companies, and so uh, it's it's been exciting for us because you know those are the people we like working with. Those are the people that traditionally are, are family owned companies that you know started with a truck and a credit card, or in, came into the company through a parent or a grandparent who started the company. And uh, when it comes time for a transaction, it's 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 doing something profound uh, that will impact you know not only the family but their communities and their employees in, in a big way. And those are the people we like working with. I like it. So you and I tag team recently through the TCA, we did a deep dive workshop yeah. about building value in a tough economy. We said, hey, you, in this time, you got to you got to control what you control. And that's where you need to put your focus. So um, one of those things was about reducing owner dependence. What's one way that companies right now who want to build value, how can they reduce owner dependence? Uh, I would say by just building out their management team, uh, by making sure that they have key employees in place who uh, can steer the ship if for some reason they had to step aside, whether that's by choice or by force, uh, whether something you know un unfortunate happened. Uh, that, that's something that buyers are looking at is, you know, if an owner sells a company, who's going to be left around to help steer the ship and manage that transition if the owner chooses not to. So having key management that are not only uh, involved, but empowered mm -hmm. and who also have you know, the ability to grow with the company as it continues to grow is one key area, I would, I would say you can uh, just control you know, how you reduce underdependence. I like that. So for companies that want to get access to deal flow, that want to grow through acquisition, what's one suggestion that you would give them to increase their available opportunities? I think the easiest way would just be to uh, either email me, dlooney at the .com, uh, and I will gladly just build out a buyer profile for you. But you can also do that, submit that through our uh, our website. And if we just build a buyer profile out for you and just understand just a few basic metrics, you know, what you're looking for in terms of uh, size, whether that's by revenue or by power units, just a, a floor and a ceiling, and maybe geography, uh, maybe certain customers, whether it's a uh, industry segment, whether that's you know refrigerated or dry van or drayage, whatever that is. Uh, if we could just build out a few of those things, then as we're talking to sellers and onboarding clients ourselves, I mean, right now we have 15 active deals and expect to, to onboard, uh, you know, uh, many more before the end of the year, then that gives us just a direct pipeline to you to say, if, if it matches up with what you're looking for, we're going to get it in front of you. And we're also not going to waste your time with, you know, the deals that don't fit so that you're, you know, getting a refrigerated offer when you're looking for drainage. 
I like that. I thought you were going to say davislooney.com. I don't I didn't know where you're going with that. But I might, I might, I might be may, the may, next, may, next maybe time in the, the hot seat. I might have something new for you. Maybe in, yeah. maybe in the mix. Yeah. Last question. So uh, one of the things that we we do at uh, Tuesdays with Tenny Group, our networking group, uh, you know, we give opportunities to help one another. Now, there's one thing that you're trying to do in downtown Nashville with a local coffee coffee company. Tell us yeah. about that. What are you trying to do there? So uh, I live in Wedgwood, Houston, which is uh, you know the last exit. Uh, as you're going north into downtown on 65 and there's a coffee shop a block from my house called Humphrey Street that is uh, organized by a um, ministry called Harvest Hands and uh, they employ local high school students to give them opportunities to make money and receive mentorship and uh, financial education uh, you know by working at the shop so their, their tagline is uh, we don't make coffee uh, or we don't hire people to make coffee we make coffee to hire people. And so uh, they make amazing coffee. And uh, I just always, whenever I get a chance, I'm always recommending people to, you know, if you if you need coffee at home, you can buy some from their website and they'll ship it to you. Um, or if you're in the downtown Nashville area and you want to stop into Humphrey Street, it is an awesome uh, little coffee shop there. Assuming you're allowed to go back into coffee shops, uh, <laughs> that is a great place to stop by. Learning? Not bad, sir. Thank you, sir. Not bad. Appreciate it. All right, that does it for the hot seat today. Thanks for being with us. I'm Spencer Tenney. See you next time.